about this truck being dirty for this truck video? Um, it's fine. It shows that it's well used and cared for by taking it in mud. It is indeed. What's up, guys? Jesse and Melissa here with Adventure Endeavor, and we have gotten many requests for this video, and we're going to do our best to make this video for the people that have requested this video. And that is a truck review. We've been asked multiple times, hey, you take your truck everywhere, you tow with it, you off-road, you do Baja stuff, you live out of it in a sense. How has it been? You know, we did buy this truck brand new in 2016, and this is my first ever brand new vehicle, <laughs> yeah. and it's been great, and it has been awesome. So we scoured the internet for the best price we could find when we were buying this truck brand new, and we ended up going to a dealership in Idaho called Dennis Dillon Dodge. So we actually flew all the way up there and then drove all the way back to Southern California, and we still saved money after all that gas and um, flight prices. Yeah, this was well before we were living full time. We bought this truck and we intended on building as like an overlander and obviously did all the modifications and all that type of stuff. And then luckily we bought diesel so we could tow our two different fifth wheels and now it tows our Nash travel trailer with ease. The buying process was great. It was easy. It was convenient. They pick you up from the airport and we highly recommend Dennis Dillon. Yeah, it was a fun adventure too. Hashtag, hashtag not sponsored by Dennis Dillon. We wish we were. All right, so in this video, we wanna break it down into kind of a few different categories. One is gonna be overall impressions. We're gonna do our best to talk about the truck in a stock form. Then we wanna talk about maintenance, and then we wanna talk about off-road performance and just what we think of it overall to kind of give you an overview and kind of, you know, our experience with it in general to see if it's something that is worth purchasing for yourself. So our truck is a 2016 Cummins Turbo Diesel Ram 2500. It has the rear coil springs, solid axle up front, obviously manual transfer case, and it is just a tradesman model. So it's somewhat bare bones, but for us, it has everything that we needed and we don't like too many bells and whistles, to be honest. For how big this truck is, it actually gets surprisingly good MPG. When we were towing the fifth wheel, we got about nine miles per gallon. And now that we have the small trailer, we're getting about 13 miles to the gallon. And sometimes, even on these 35 inch tires, when we're just going highway miles, we get up to 20. The highest we've seen is 24 MPG, which is pretty good for how big this truck is. So this is a 2016. This is roughly two years into having a DEF system. And to be honest, the DEF system, the whole truck in general has been extremely reliable, which we absolutely love. I mean, knock on wood, hopefully we don't do this video and then we have issues. And like we stated, it has 100,000 miles. So I think that's pretty good for a big diesel truck, 100,000 miles with only routine maintenance, which is great. So with any diesel, there are pros and cons. We do have to change the fuel filters quite often and they are kind of expensive. They run about a hundred bucks, but we have a whole separate video about that if you wanna know how to do that and which product we recommend. Another thing um, that comes along with maintenance is the air filter. Uh, I, I imagine because we off-road so much, they tend to get clogged up and the sensor for them is actually very sensitive, which is a good thing because it lets you know. We'll get a sensor every so often and it says service air filter, we'll take it, we'll clean it out, put it back in, but then when that light comes back again, you just have to do another cleaner. We're always off-roading, we're always boon knocking, we're always in the dirt. It's good that it's sensitive, but it just seems like it's going off all the time. Another sensor and another thing that can be frustrating at times with this truck is there's a sensor that tells us that there's water in the fuel. Now, we know, we do the fuel filters ourselves, we know where the pet cock is, we know how to drain it. From what I've read, the sensor is just extremely sensitive, which is a good thing, but randomly you get it coming on and it can just be frustrating and there's really nothing you could do. I've read that you can replace the plug, but it's just so sensitive that it just comes back. So something to be aware of if you're looking to get one of these trucks. So this right here is one of the main reasons we drove all the way to Idaho. We really wanted a manual transfer case in this Ram because we knew we'd be doing a lot of off-roading and we could not find one in California. So Dennis Dillon had one and they had great prices and we absolutely love this in comparison to the electronic shift. It's had zero issues, it's been super reliable and that's all you could really ask for. Next, 
category. All right, so now we want to talk about the upgrades that we've done to our truck to make it more livable and more customizable to us long term, more off roadable. All of those good things that we love to do. Those are the important upgrades. All right, so this is somewhat of a recent upgrade. When we switched to a travel trailer, we knew we wanted something to store our bikes and to give us more storage in general. We picked up this Lear camper shell. It's a construction style on Craigslist. It was a smoking deal. What's great is that we have storage boxes. We normally keep all of our leveling gear here and whatnot, which works great. We have a couple fitness items here. And these things are super secure. They all lock, which is awesome. And we haven't had a need for it yet, but it does come with a roof rack, which will be great if we ever need to add more storage space. We could always throw a cargo box up there. We could put bikes, skis, snowboards, literally anything you can think of can go on top of the roof rack. On this side, what's really nice is there's only one toolbox and then it's open to the inside. We keep a spare jug of water on the inside and it's great to access the bikes or what have you. Like I said, it all locks. In here, we have our water pump so we can transfer water into our trailer, mountain biking helmets, um, some spare parts, and of course, in case, you know, in case you have an accident while you're out. So one of my favorite upgrades that we've done to our truck is adding this cargo slide. It's been great. I am pulling uphill and there is some water on there. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, but it actually is really easy to pull out and it gives us better access to our mountain bikes. I can hop up in there more easily and disconnect and pull them out. We keep our smoker right here, which is really great since we don't have a big underbelly anymore in this new trailer. Um, you know, we were able to mount our traction boards right here, just up against the side since there's a lot of anchor points. And now with this toolbox, we actually have put our snowboards in here as well. So we've got one right here and one on the other side with all of our snowboarding and snow gear inside a bag. And then we have a seven gallon water jug strapped in right here as well. One of our favorite upgrades obviously is our Carly suspension. Up front, we did a leveling kit, which is roughly three inches to level these trucks out. We have 2.5 inch pin top King shocks and they have been valved multiple times. You know, we love off-roading and it would not happen without this suspension setup. In the rear, we have new springs and we have the same. We have 2.5 inch King shocks right here. This is a factory location. And then what we did back here to get more travel, not really more travel, to make the suspension work better, we added another set of 2.5 inch King bypass shocks. The truck works amazing off-road. These are great. This is where the rear sway bar used to go, but now there's shocks here. So we modified that, no rear sway bar. And then for towing, we added some airlift airbags. I believe they're the 5000 model. We'll link it below. And at the very bottom, we added a Daystar cradle, which is great because it allows the lower section of the airbag to be disconnected, which allows the truck to flex out, which allows you to off-road and have an airbag set up. We have a video on that as well. We will link that below. Another thing we've added that's been super critical and helpful with off-roading has been these rock sliders. Um, they were installed by our friends at TT Motorsports and the Fab Lab in SoCal. And let me just tell you how many times these have saved me when I've been off-roading. Protected the lower part of our body here. I love these too because they make it a lot easier to get in the truck. Next thing that's super important is a good wheel and tire combo. We went with some Wild Peak made by Falcons, the AT3s. They have been great considering we off-road so much and we tow. The tread pattern is just perfect for us. And we have some Method race wheels, which have been great as well. 
Overall, we love this setup. These are 295-70-18s. So they're roughly uh, 34. We added a Thurin fabrication truss. That's basically to keep the axle straight from bending. We off-road it so much that it actually is a concern and it is a problem that happens with a lot of these trucks. So we went ahead and we had the Fab Lab in Simi Valley, California add this bar right here with these gussets. We have a video on that as well. We will link that below. Obviously, when you're going off-road, you gotta air down your tires to get better grip, better traction. So we installed some onboard air compressors. We actually mounted them right here under the rear wheel well and there, there's two dual, dual, dual is two, 450C air compressors. They have been great. We use them to air up the tires as well as the airbags because we air down the airbags when we go off road too. We installed an air chuck right here and there's one on the other side as well. So we have an air chuck on each side and then we installed this switch panel. We have our air compressor, we have our little amber lights, we have our light bar and then we have one that does nothing. Obviously with towing, a super, super important upgrade is gonna be a brake controller. Our truck did not come with one factory. We installed this when we got our first fifth wheel. It's a Tago Nashi. It's been great. It just syncs up. You can change the levels, plug and play, really easy. We'll link it below. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Obviously, especially now it's extremely important because we have separate vehicles. We have radios in both vehicles so we can talk to each other. This is a Kenwood race radio. We have an antenna mounted on the roof. And this thing is awesome. It's a VHF. The range is extremely far, crystal clear, super simple install. Um, I love this radio. This thing's awesome. That's a big 10-4 rubber ducky. <sighs> so we think it's super important to be hands-free when driving, especially towing. This is a Skosh magnetic mount. So right here, magnetizes to your phone. You put little plates on your phone, and then it's also a wireless charger. So we just toss our phone up here. We have our GPS charging at the same time. This thing is awesome. Okay. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. For the few of you who asked for a truck review type of video, we hope this was what you're looking for. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And just to kind of go over all everything, the truck has been awesome. Yeah, we love it. First vehicle I've ever bought new and off-roadability, reliability, towing the house, everything, I would say, everything is, is like 10 out of 10, to be honest. I mean, maintenance, maybe nine out of 10, but it's not that bad. I mean, we also have a gas vehicle. We know that they require maintenance. Diesel's just a little more tricky at times, mm -hmm. but overall, love this truck and I, will, I, I never want to get rid of it. I love it that much. <laughs> if there's anything else specifically that you want, to, want us to address or have questions on, please let us know down in the comments. And uh, you know, we hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about the truck. And uh, as always, thanks for joining our adventure endeavor. Thanks for watching.